All right, I am going to show you, however you may be, probably no one, how to, how I do photos um, from Second Life. All right, the first step is picking a photo, which I have selected this photo, which obviously is a raw photo. Um, and this time I am doing a bus shot on a white background. So the first thing I'm going to do, obviously, is crop. No, actually, I'm going to wait till I do that on the other one. First thing I'm going to do, <laughs> yeah, I don't do a lot of these. The first thing I'm going to do is answer this text. And then I'm going to look for any um, graphical glitches that I see. Right now, it's looking pretty good. I mean, okay, I don't want this blue thing in here, so we're going to fix that. So first we're going to zoom in on that. Of course I'm using my control plus to zoom in and then I'm using the space bar to move the picture around. And then I'm just going to use a lasso tool because, yeah, because I can. The magnetic lasso tool even. it is such a small thing. And now I'm going to deselect that and I'm going to clean it up a little bit by using an eraser and I'm going to make it super soft. Hardness of zero. That way I don't get jagged lines where I've accidentally erased things that I didn't want to erase. And nobody's going to be able to see that blue from far away. So that's good. Next thing I'm going to do is look at the shoulders because with an SL um, photograph, that's where there's a lot of gl glitches. And I don't like this, oops, I'll do that. I don't like this right here, so I'm going to fix that and I'm going to use the healing brush tool. Actually, yeah, I'm going to use the, the healing brush tool. I kind of wing it sometimes. <laughs> okay, and then you press Alt to select the area that you're going to um, paint from, and we want a smaller brush. Probably about good. I'm just gonna fill this in a little bit. And now that that is looks like crap, I'm going to take the um, smudge tool. I'm just gonna smudge it a little bit. And it doesn't matter really because I'm going to blur all the outlines. So, after I erase the little crap that came off, so I don't like it right here. Alright. I'm going to use the blur tool and I want to make it. A large, a large um, hard brush, not too large, and then I'm just gonna soften all these little pixelated lines over here, especially in the hair area. And make sure that you're trying to get just the uh, edges and then places where you can't really see it like on this shirt I'm not going to worry about doing this right here looks pretty crappy so I'm going to blur that even more
how pointy this elbow is. Okay, well here is one place where there is a glitch, and where I would, what I would usually do here for that kind of a glitch, I would use my smudge tool and just kind of blend it in just a tiny bit, like just click, click for half a second. That way it looks more um, organic and natural. And so that we do know that that is, you know, where the line creases, we are going to do that. We're going to fix that when we um, shade. And back to my blur tool. I don't want to do the inside lines too much. Right here I'm going to um, smudge a little bit more. The shoulder meets the arm, or meets the chest. Hopefully the shoulder has already met the arm. Yes, ignore my crappy jokes. So I don't really know what to say while I'm doing this. Usually I'm very quiet. And I'm going to make it smaller for this area. I don't want there to be too much overlapping. This is just to get the little stair steppies out, which I've never not done it, so I don't know if it looks that much better after doing it, but I don't know. I'm kind of anal, so it kind of bugs me a little bit when I have all these little stair steppy pieces. No sir, I didn't like it. Alright. And I'm pretty much doing this real quick because I don't want to spend hours and hours on it. In fact, I don't even know how long I can make a video. I guess a long time. <laughs> so, blur this right here. And let's fix the hat in a couple of spots. And then places on the hair which I feel are a little bit too blunt, I will take my smudge tool, of course at a very small smudge tool, like five point for this particular picture, and I'll just drag it out just a little bit. Just like that. And I would like to blur right here some more because I don't like that. I don't like the chin being all pointy. All right, now let's give it a once over. Looks pretty decent, except for right here. I could blur that. Alright, good job, good job. This will be part one, and so I don't waste a lot of time with um, changing programs because I do do the second. I do do he. <laughs> I do the second part in in um, the GIMP. I'm going to make part two, and this will be the end of part one.